yeah i will uh, uh, like most of the work has been done by dr avinash my colleague uh, in the last about half an hour so this is a coronary av fistula so i am going straight to the picture fluoroscopy yeah so th basically uh, this is a 7 year old girl who is having a large heart a continuous murmur in the right uh, sternal border a large coronary fistula arising from the proximal right coronary artery entering into the right atrium causing diffuse chamber enlargement the uh, the the fistula was uh, arising from the uh, right coronary artery the tunnel on the echocardiography and the ct scan was around 7 to 8 mm broader and then it became an aneurysmal 2 and a half to 3 cm segment on the posterior part where it was lying within the intraatrial septum and then it uh, took an exit into the right atrium on the ct as well as on the echocardiogram in order to cut short the time i am not showing the ct i am not showing the echo going live with the fluoro now i parallelly you can see on the corner some of the echoes that are being recorded so the next picture that we did next flow so this is an rao projection freeze it so the the tunnel had got a descending arm next picture next frame next frame no 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 be be there be there freeze it freeze it yeah just go back and show the rc origin so the rca was arising from uh, no go go onward go onward forward forward yeah so this is the place where it is arising proximally and then there is an ascending limb then there is a subtle narrowing and then it enters into an aneurysmal sac with a double pouch and then the pouch entered into the right atrium next picture so i will i'll just show that till till where we are we have uh, 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 this is the yeah the, uh, we have entered into the descending limb and we are injecting this is the right coronary artery then next so this is the the, the at the summit of the descending limb is the rca and then there is an ascending part next so then we advance next so we took it into the into the aneurysmal sac and in that aneurysmal sac we can see the exit point next so show this live so we we took a, a angled thermo at this point crossed into the right atrium next then we took a circuit next so then uh, this is a six french malin sheath the malin sheath is go on into the ascending limb and uh, at the summit of that uh, corner is the right coronary artery next picture yeah so this is the this is the place where the rca is arising and we still have the wire across next picture yeah no go back go back so now the i i want to know from the uh, from the floor what uh, what was your uh, thought process what device like get me a 5 french 5 french life tech pda cable 5 yes, french life tech pda cable fluorolite fluorolite so 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 dr jokim wants to retain the wire when i am advancing the plug okay so see
so this that is that is where that is that is where that is where i am i'll show you once again i think i i am now injecting from the sheath so this is the sheath rao so uh, so I, I i agree that it should be a vascular plug now whether a vascular plug without a fabric uh, with uh, six uh, uh, closing surfaces like an amplizer vascular plug 2 or a plug with uh, only two like an amplizer uh, vascular plug 1 however with three layers of fabric so close up close up close up so this is hera vascular plug which is made by the life tech close up so it has got three layers of fabric single lobe yeah avp one type 10 millimeter which go i'm i'm choosing a 10 millimeter because the that na narrow portion the narrow the vessel size was 4 to 5 millimeter so i'm doubling the size now now what is the what is the uh, like the, i understand dr jokim telling me to retain the uh, the she uh, like a guide wire but one of the problem that i might face will be i may not have space through this uh yeah no the if suppose if if the it is a five french if the whole thing backs out and i end up into the aneurysmal sac uh then uh, okay is it zaid yeah you are always you are all, you are always cruel to me <laughs> push it keep it pushed so i am going to have i we, we are i am just loading the the cera vascular plug in a small introducer sheath now the cera vascular plug comes with its own cable but that cable is not good enough i will show you the cable now show the cable see it uh, as i was pushing it into the show me show me here as i was pushing it into the sheath it took all sorts of bends can you see that so so i have decided to take a 5 french uh, uh life tech pda device cable which is going to be pretty stiff however i still feel that i can Uh, yeah actually the 5 french uh, uh, 5 french uh, this one uh, uh, life tech uh, cable is also uh, of the same characteristics as uh, uh, edio edio cable so yes yes i will i i will i will do that as well so right now i have got my plug deep inside can you mag on this can you mag on that go go a little rao more no get less of rao less of rao separate out my rca okay it's not getting separated so let me see where i am okay so uh, i am going to come back to rao sister i want a good sedation i 
I'll use Sini to guide me better. Oh God. Okay. Let me see. Let me see where I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Leave it. Came back a little. Uh, if I am still on the vertical limb, then I'm okay. Yeah. So right now, what I'm going to do is immediately release this one. Get me the screw. Yeah. Where is? So I'm I'm getting the screw of the screw is not working. Huh? No BP is because I I am I am um, partially damping. So I'm using my uh, uh, artery forceps because my show me the show me the hand. The screw came out. Okay, so I have released it. Now, so. Yeah. So can I get some more contrast on cup? Here, here. Sister, come here. So, which is the pressure line? Uh, I will. I will just check once. Uh, uh, the, the exit point will be with an ADO. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah Life Tech PDA uh, device. I will show now. Come to AP view. I think I will close the exit also. Yeah, can you get me one uh, eight six PDA device, Life Tech? Yeah, quick, quick. Yeah, I I am I am. Uh, it's a Life Tech eight uh, six. I am taking because it was a. I we got a six millimeter orifice on the echocardiogram. So you can see this is a, a a plug of what size, what sort? See the problem about uh, the the plug. If you are using an amplifier vascular plug, then probably I can put two lobes inside the sac and one lobe in the right atrium. But if it is a, a PDA device, uh, either of uh, amplifier or uh, life tech, I can uh, position it just like a PDA. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah, open. Bharat, I I saw that it's a soft area. I think it will hold, Bharat. Uh, uh, this uh, eight six itself because of we made some echo assessments and uh, come get me a, a five French short sheet for loading. Yeah, come quick. This six French. Okay. Yeah, in just within within a minute, I'll be done. Actually, we operate from the next room, so uh, my techs have to go to the next room to get the PDA device. So now we are. Uh, so which angio projection you are going to show? I'll first open out the. So I'm I'm using the resistance of the sac, and I'm deploying it. 
okay uh, the, this is just the the, the hand the feeling of uh, the resistance okay now i am going to go with an angiogram through my rca guide can you give me rao where was the radiation screen pushed it out keep the radiation screen there damian told me in the morning to use radiation screen yeah damian told me that i should use no it was the it it was there a short while ago and uh no there is not last word there is a conduit stenting conduit stenting is there in the from the other lab another few minutes later yeah